Well, looky here. Look who's back. Reggie Anderson, sports director how Reggie Anderson. I'm doing well. I guess the important question is, how are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. For people who don't know it, I didn't... We, 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 you and I, Jerry and I have kind of talked about this. I sure. talked about weighing before I left. Mm -hmm. Should I tell people? Should I? And I weighed not telling people. That's just not... Uh, in this business, self-promotion is oxygen, but I, was, I kind of went the other way. Uh, but I had open heart surgery. Yeah. Uh, had my, got my money's worth, you know, <laughs> and uh, got a nice scar. Yeah. Uh, no pain, no blockages, but I noticed that running upstairs, I was like, this feels kind of weird. Uh, so I went and had it checked out and was not expecting heart surgery. And at all, at and, all, and, and and you're relatively young, 55. I mean, I mean that's, 56. Excuse me, yeah, 56 now. You you missed that birthday while you were away. <laughs> well, but I was yeah, doped up. <laughs> but, but yeah, you're relatively yeah. young, and it and it happened to you. So uh, people who are people in, in much better shape than I am have had this before. Right. But I would encourage anyone uh, if your body if something starts feeling weird, go check it out because you may not think it's heart related. It could be a million other things, but it was, and got it fixed. Uh, do want to thank the doctors at Lexington Medical Center and the nurses who, by the way, we know nurses are the unsung heroes mm -hmm. uh, around, but you have no idea. Right. And I, I knew it, but seeing what they go through with people who are recovering, mm -hmm. they really do not get paid enough for what they do. What has been the hardest thing for you since you've been out? Not being able to go 60 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. I can only go like 20, which is <laughs> tough for me. Yeah. You know, but I mean, just a little thing. Like, I wanted to go to the race Sunday, especially after Stenhouse won. Mm -hmm. I wanted to hang out with his and, and up in Charlotte. And I just, my body was like, e you better not do that. So right. that's been kind of, but I'm kind of eased back into it. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get going here later in the week. And, right. uh, but just, you know, it, it was kind of nice, though, being back, kind of a little bit sense of normalcy. Mm -hmm. I have watched just about every uh, Blue Bloods episode there is, <laughs> every episode of SWAT. <laughs> But uh, now that that's been accomplished, uh, time to get back to work. So Time to get back, but we're going to ease you into it here. Yes, I'm going to so. work uh, four hours a day. And six months from now, I'll still be working only four hours a day. And I have I, a, f go ahead. I do want to say, in spite of what JR told people at church, I was not extradited. That is not why I was out for a few <laughs> months, all right? It was actually medical leave. It was nothing, nothing legal. I, I haven't told anyone that story. <laughs> I haven't told anyone. And, and I've only told people about uh, what happened with you because you said it was okay to do so. Yeah, and, I, and people who've emailed me personally, I've, I've responded, but I'm just, I'm never one to, yeah. you know, but I guess I should be, but I don't all know. Right. Anyway, but for those of you who are wondering, I'm back, and thanks for all the well wishes. Yeah. Well, it's good to have you back. Yep. All right. And we're back in just a moment.